hero this time. We'll see. <clears throat> yeah, I, I agree with the Lucario pick over the hero. Because, uh, I mean, Palu absolutely Go! seems like a character who can bully hero <laughs> Most more definitely. than the average. Yeah, Palu will get in your face. It will shut down your cheese. Definitely known as one of those uh, anti-cheeser characters. But, you know, still no slouch against a uh, character like Lucario either. Right, but I mean, as opposed to the hero, Vivi's Lucario is going to have a lot more consistently good movement. I mean, That's obviously, right. no movement is going to be as good as a hero with Accelerado. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you only roll it when you roll it, and and we're rolling with Lucario here. Ooh, down tilt back air, almost sealing out the stock. Ooh, great two frame using that down air. Yup. Oh, and that's that's gonna be the double jump. I don't think they yeah, can make think, it back there. Yeah, I think Jen didn't uh, grab ledge, so he didn't get the uh, that's right. Get the double jump back. Yeah. So we got an up air on Lucario. You know, Lucario with that great air speed. Not the biggest character model either. So and and like you said, with that movement, definitely gonna be hard to track down for Palutena. Definitely more so than Hero. So mm -hmm. kind of yeah. seeing the the thoughts behind the picks here. Getting yes. off the ledge, that ledge traveling with Paul Tana going to be very deadly, and the back is going to seal it. Yep. Yep, great call out on the jump mm -hmm. uh, from ledge. Now the Nair Train coming in, but, I mean, you're just putting percentage on the Lucario. Yeah, I mean, that's always, you know, in the back of your mind. The, the more percent this character takes, obviously, the stronger they are. But Jen, you know, sealing out stocks with, with uh, a good amount of consistency. Didn't really... Didn't really let Lucario get to those percents where they can really make an explosive play, but as I say that, the back air almost taking out Jen's stock at around like 80%, which was pretty Jen pretty. just forward aired through like a fully charged aura sphere. That's right. That that's, nuts. that's Paul Lutena. That's the top tier fares, baby. That is privilege if I've ever Most seen definitely, it. Definitely, but here we go. Vivi sniping Jen in the middle of the air with the aura sphere. We got v uh, Vivi at the ledge now. That down tilt, the vortex. Ooh, uh, you know, answering right back on that earlier two frame with the up smash, sniping Lucario on his way back to the ledge. Yeah, actually caught VV uh, bouncing up against the 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 body of FD and yeah. bouncing up. Oh, okay, yeah. Ooh, great oh, that up back to ledge or back to stage rather. You know, definitely a good mix up if your opponent is only considering what's going on at the ledge. You can sneak back to stage pretty quickly with that up but Jen, you know. Got a pretty decent handle on Lucario at this point, so. Yeah, no, extreme speed. Uh, oh, jeez. Another jump call out with, the, with that uh, that up smash there. You know, kind of caught BB holding in there, trying to get back to the stage a little too quickly without mm -hmm. enough, you know, consideration maybe. So Jen going to take that game. You know, not letting Lucario get to a real, any really high percents. You know, that's that's the beauty of Paulo. She gets those consistent kills when you get the right call outs, and there you see it right there with the up smash. <laughs> oh. Poor guy. All right, Vivi coming in with the Tekken music counter pick as of course. usual. Of course, the amount of times I've had Tekken music counter picked on me is, uh, listen, I'm not complaining. It's good, but it's something to be expected. Sticking with Lucario though. Yeah, and speaking of counter picks, small battlefield small is going to be our counter pick of choice coming into game two. That's right. Probably looking to take advantage maybe of the smaller blast zone, the smaller stage in general. So, you know, the, the platforms as well, perhaps providing Lucario an opportunity to escape some of these devastating Paulo advantage states and giving him a little bit of cover, you know, to run around charge arm sphere. Jen can't necessarily jump in as easily with these platforms in the way. So nice pick from DD. Jen having no problem though. That was an insane reaction on the neutral tech by Jen. Mm -hmm. That was instant. Yeah. Big grab coming in from Jen. On the ledge, Vivi calling out a jump, not getting it. Jen kind of just relaxing, taking his time, and rolling away. All right, I like the neutral air dodge there by Vivi. Uh, mixing things up so he can get through the, these Jen ledge trappings that have been such a detriment to him. That's this right. Set. Ooh. Once again, calling out his jump with the Aura Sphere. That's, you know, two out of two stocks out of this set with that Aura Sphere. You know, definitely going to be one of the card's best tools here. What a parry. Ooh, Jen with a pivot grab after. But what a double team, but what a back air privilege. Privileged character. Oh, my gosh. BB not shaken by it, though. Getting that Aura Sphere. Ooh. 
even the very last, you know, did not get the hit that Paulus usually get on that kill confirm, but alas, we're playing Paulus, so mm -hmm. it still works. Ooh, you know. Great bait by Jen right there. That's right, yeah. Jumping with the up air. Kind of think making Vivi go to the right, and then he drifts right over with that great air speed. And oh, another parry. continues the up air. I mean, the advantage from Jen right now is just overwhelming. Those rolls will not get you out. Jumping quickly to avoid. Ooh, that was a good drift right there to avoid all that. <laughs> Pretty difficult for Lucario. Yeah. Or just in general to avoid uh, those Paulu offstation Anigans. But we're back to Nooch. Looking at even stocks, you know. Vivi definitely looking to make a play. Take advantage of that Lucario or a building. Ever wow. Wow. And you know what? I mentioned before how those... Those uppies might be a good option for mixing up Jen when when trying to go for an edge guard or ledge trap, but Jen has been on point with those punishes. Yeah, no, using using that uh, disjointed up tilt, lasting so long, absolutely going to be catching that extreme speed. And it feels like Jen has just had his finger on Vivi's pulse this entire match. That's right. Vivi has not really been able to get any sort of the usual Lucario pressure mm. that we've known him for. Yeah, I mean, no early kills on the board really for Vivi. Um, a lot of near misses, but, you know, with a character like Lucario, you need those to hit, and there we go, it is hitting. That command grab gonna steal the stock. Yeah, just barely tagged Gen Shield with the Aura Sphere charge and able to cancel it into the Force Palm. That's right. All right now, starting. you know, Lucario at 77, pretty comfortable position. Uh, when it comes to the Aura, gonna be able to make some big plays here in this early percent. Right, using that movement, trying to get some mix-ups of his own, but as we've seen so far, Jen has just Jen has just had Vivi's number this whole time. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, this is effectively even given the two percents. We're gonna see Vivi applying a little bit more pressure now, kind of building his way back into this game, moving around swiftly with the R Sphere. You know, it could only it could be a matter of one hit at this point. Ooh, wow. Great you know. call out on the explosive. Yeah, for sure. Confident in his spacing on that, knowing that it will most definitely hit as Paulo suffers that. Supposed to play an M lag, ooh. But like we said, the, the the ledge pressure from Jen is just too overwhelming, giving Vivi really no options. I mean, that back air, you know, covers so much, and we saw Jen delivering on the punish from the roll before when he got that back throw, so really not a lot of options for Vivi, yeah. Yeah, Palutena really one of those gatekeeper style character most definitely and and that gate is is called the ledge and you're staying there <laughs> as long as she likes business hours are over for center stage yeah you know what i think vivi might have tried to jump there. i'm not sure i think they pressed something yeah yeah we could we could go back and take a look at that yeah here let's, let's see let's see because that did look a little weird Oh, you know, I don't know. That it, was, that was, or we, we got the frame weird. by frame. Let's see it. Maybe he got like dragged down. Yeah, it popped up a little bit, but. Okay. Oh, he they fast, fast fell. fell. That's interesting. Um. Yeah, I was under the impression that you could not fast fall in that situation, but I guess if. You're at the apex of, yeah, I mean, maybe, whatever launch you're, you're getting. You, I yeah, don't know. he was never put into tumble. Oh, right, yeah, so that, that probably explains it. And there you go. That was that was a pretty nice charge. Getting Jen to shield, quickly capitalizing with that uh, with that side B. But Jen, you know, it's going to pull through with the, the ledge trapping. Really mm -hmm. was, once again, the difference maker here. That pressure, you know, Vivi started to get some momentum in... Uh, in the later half of that set, but I mean, Jen, just tacking on the pressure with those back airs, with that grab, with that nair, you know, it's overwhelming. Yeah, Vivi never got a chance to set up that pressure that we know him for with the, the Aura Sphere, mm -hmm. because Jen really just knew where Vivi was gonna be the whole time, and that's kind of the 